Hello everybody. Today I'm going to go over some sales that can be found at Winn-Dixie, the supermarket. The supermarket Winn-Dixie. And what is very interesting about the um, what's very interesting about the sales the sale advertising here in South Florida, particularly Miami, is that it is in two languages. They do it in English and in Spanish because of the high influx of Latinos and Spanish-speaking people, native Spanish speakers. They, they do it similarly to Canada, where in Canada they have, in parts of Canada, Quebec, for example, they have everything in French and English because it's a bilingual city. Montreal also. Montreal is in Quebec, I think. Anyway, here it says Win Dixie, el sabor de tu país. It says Win Dixie, el sabor de tu país, the, the flavor of your country. And this was a sale that went on actually pre Thanksgiving sale, Wednesday, November 9th through Tuesday, November 15th. So here we go. It says Sanderson, Sanderson Farms boneless skin -less chicken breasts. Sanderson Farms boneless, skinless chicken breasts. Pechugas de pollo sin piel ni hueso. The next item on sale is the deal of the week or the oferta de la semana. It is the canned vegetables or greens, verduras o vegetales enlatados, with card, con tarjeta. When they say with card, they're talking about the Winn-Dixie card. It's like a special membership card of the supermarket. So it's 50 cents per can or two for one dollar. You can get either cut green beans or whole kernel corn. was 70 cents. It's now 40 cents on June. Same here. The smoked shank ham portion translated to jamón de pierna ahumado. Pierna is actually leg in Spanish, but they translate it as shank. Grade A frozen turkeys, 10 pounds and up. Pavos congelados. Limit two packages. They only let you get two turkeys. Halo, Halo mandarin oranges. Naranjas mandarinas. Halo's brand. That's $5.99 per box. This one, California grown grapes. Green or black seedless grapes. Uvas verdes o negras sin semillas. Mardol brand papaya. That's translated papaya with the card. Actually, all of these sales are only if you have the Winn-Dixie card. If you don't have the Winn-Dixie card, and the sale is probably over because it was pre-Thanksgiving sale. Um, 8 or 12 pack Pepsi products, 3 for $11. Refrescos, they just translated. Refreshments. That's this one. Now we'll do this one. It is Little Brights, Entenmann's Bakery Products, Reposteria, just bakery. 
buy one get one free that part isn't translated they translate some of the stuff they don't translate all of the stuff two liter iron beer mate beer or lano soda Iron beer tastes sort of like root beer. Then mate beer is like um, mate is a is a herb drunk mainly in Uruguay and Argentina. They make a tea sort of out of it, but they apparently make a flavored um, refreshment drink as well. Um, Iberia jasmine rice, arroz jasmin. That's twelve forty nine each for an eighteen pound bag. You can actually buy it bulk. That's pretty big. Ready to eat black beans, frijoles negros, mm, café la rica or el águila. That's actually a Spanish coffee. I think it's imported from either Spain or Latin. America. So they don't translate it, they just put it in the language. Now we have some cheeses here. It says, Sargento shredded cheese. See now, they just translate it, queso. They don't, queso rallado would be shredded cheese, but they didn't put the rallado here. And then some cottonelle bath tissue, or Scott paper towels. Papel higiénico o toallas de papel. Papel higiénico is hygienic paper, which is toilet paper for the bathroom. And then toallas de papel. You know, it's kind of counterintuitive to put toilet paper on the same page as all this yummy food. I, I kind of wish they would not have done that. But. Then you have some meats here. Ofertas de la semana. Um, sales of the week. Special offers. Ofertas. Special sales of the week right here. Saturday and Sunday only. And some special deals. I'll do one more page. Let's do the vegetables. So this is ASMR, but it's also a mini Spanish lesson. Broccoli crowns is translated. Broccoli. It's sort of spelled the same except with it, some accents and less C's. Avocados. Um, avocado. Avocados here are. Um, they call them agua. Aguacate. Green asparagus is asparagus verdes. I keep looking at the thing. See, that's why I like to flip it around. I'm gonna flip it around because I look at the thing instead of at the camera when it's facing me and I, I see myself. Um, red, yellow, or orange bell peppers. Translated, pimientos, campana, rojos, amarillos, o anaranjados. Beef steak tomatoes. That's just translated tomates. They don't elaborate that they're actually beef steak. Um, oh, my mouth started watering when I saw the pecans. They call them bacanas. Mm, that's sort of anglicized because they don't really have pecans. Pecans are not native of Latin America. They have them growing there now, but they brought them from here. Same with blueberries. Um, pecan halves. Okay. But I actually skipped when I saw those. Uh, it's eight pound bag premium jumbo russet potatoes. 
papas rosette. Three pound bag sweet onions, cebollas dulces. Then this is a three pound bag gala gold or red delicious apples. The translation, manzanas. They don't elaborate on the as much as they did in the English. And then watermelon chunks. See, in Florida, it's still hot this time of year. It's hot year-round, but we get some hot days, so we still eat juicy, you know, watermelon and cold things. Watermelon chunks. Trozos de sandía. Earthbound farm organic sal salads. Ensaladas orgánicas. I'm skipping, but here. Fresh whole snapper. They translated pargo entero. State Fair corn dogs. They translated corn dogs o hamburguesas de carne de res because they have state fair corn dogs or ballpark beef patties. You can't really translate it because state fairs and ballparks, referring to baseball, are North American. They're, they're from the U.S. They don't really, it's not a popular sport in Latin America. Baseball isn't. State fairs, they call it something else. They have fairs down there too. But, but uh, so since they can't really translate it, Literally, they just say corn dogs, same in English, o hamburguesas de carne de res. Um, carne de res, I'm not sure what it is, but they just basically say, you know, hamburgers. Corn dogs or hamburgers. Ballpark beef franks, salchichas de res. Yeah, I wonder why they say that. I'm going to have to figure that out. Because Ballpark is the actual, is the brand. So, yes, yeah, sometimes they kind of translate it awkwardly. Beef sausage, salchicha de res. And that's another brand, that's a Garcia brand, salchicha de res. So I wonder why they're doing that, why they're calling these products de res. Maybe I could Google to find out what that means even. And of course there are different parts of Latin America use different words. But let's look that up then. What does terres mean? I'm gonna I'm gonna go to Google Translate. Translate dot Google dot com. Okay, so they actually, when they say hamburguesa de res, or sausage, salchicha de res, or beef franks, salchicha de res, that means they're made with beef. De res implies that it is beef. So that's why they do that. But I've never heard the word res used to describe beef, but apparently it is. Okay. Um, Lunchables, almuerzos preparados. Lunchables is the, uh, you know, you have Oscar Mayer Lunchables. So they were translated as prepared lunch. Almuerzos preparados. Dips and spreads. This looks really yummy. Um, Fisherman's Wharf cooked shrimp. Camarones cocidos. And Gulf Pride select raw shrimp is translated camarones crudos. Raw is crudo. Cooked is cocido. Cooked. And here's some meat, some jugo o limonada. Simply juice or lemonade. 
yogu rico smoothie batido a smoothie is a batido a be beaten batido whipped it really is kind of whipped in the machine oh look at the ice cream all right i'm getting hungry i better go eat something pumpkin pies well i hope you all had a nice thanksgiving i really over ate and we're getting ready for the holidays Thanks for watching. Bye.